This is literally the fastest and easiest AFK weapon XP glitch in Modern Warfare 2 right now, so stay tuned if you want to know how to level your weapons really really fast. If you find this useful be sure to leave a like so that other people can find the video too. By doing this method I started off as you can see with my RPG rocket launcher at level 1, I hadn't used it at all, and by the end from me being AFK on the game I was almost able to max it out, I got it past level 11, almost zero effort, so let's talk about how to do it. So what you want to do for this method is you want to go into co-op and you want to go to the mission called Defender Mount Zaya. Now there are other co-op methods but this is kind of my favourite one at the moment. So what you want to do obviously you want to load that up and it will put you with another player into co-op but unfortunately that makes it a little bit more tricky so first thing you want to do is you want to try and get rid of that other player there's several methods to do that first of all you can literally just ask them to leave and see if they're willing to cooperate obviously that's not always possible and not always easy and people might not always want to listen to that so that's fair enough so the few other things you could do is quickly die in the game and hope they die too and then if that's the case it'll give you the option to restart the whole mission and retry it again once the other enemies left and that would be quite a good way to do it another way is obviously if you get one of your friends to join into the match and then leave alternatively the much easier way is if you just literally keep restarting the mission and and eventually they'll get annoyed and hopefully they'll leave. Now actually I kept doing that in my game but after a while I realised that the guy I was with actually was trying to do a similar method as well. So they're actually on the same page as me and therefore I kind of just stuck with it. So, so if that's the case don't worry about it but what you want to do when you spawn him once you've ideally got rid of them pick up the weapon you want so go over to the wall and there'll be lots of different weapons up there that you can choose from. Now it has to be one of these unfortunately so you can't rank up any single weapon you want but there's a large variety especially of some of the annoying ones like certain snipers, RPGs, certain shotguns and pistols that kind of thing. What you want to do once you've picked up the weapon that you're happy with and by the way for the most part you're going to want to hold on to this weapon because sometimes if people switch out it can kind of mess things up. Once you've got your weapon you're going to want to find somewhere to kind of stay out of sight and go AFK. Now I'd recommend is if you walk over to the left use the zip wire zip line up to the top then when you're on the roof walk around onto the catwalk and just kind of go prone anywhere here. Your person will keep sending out a ping and you'll keep having audio cues that you know your teammates need your help but just leave it it's fine you can go prone and my guy kind of came prone with me for a little while. At the time of doing this it was 12.01 so I then went prone, went off, did something, you can do whatever you want, listen to music, get on with work, tidy up, whatever chores you need to do, get on with that. And you basically need to be AFK or be in the game for at least one hour. And then what I did is I waited almost an hour and a half just over that. So as long as it's over an hour you should be good otherwise you get a lot less XP. And then after that you're going to want to run down to the objective, maybe get a few kills, just to kind of do something with your weapon a little bit. And again try and get those kills obviously with the weapon you're trying to level up as that will all help. And then the really important thing is you mustn't just quit the game otherwise you'll lose that XP. You have to actually die. So as you can see in the end here I lasted for about just over 100 minutes. So hour and 40 and in that time I earned over 26 and a half almost 27,000 weapon XP and literally that was just without a double XP token that wasn't doing any special thing special it was literally just going FK getting a couple kills at the end and also my teammate died once so I revived him as well just because I thought I'd get a free revive out of it to get some weapon XP but literally that was so so helpful and that was involved minimal effort so if you guys want to do this kind of thing as well it's really quick for leveling up launchers pistols shotguns anything that's kind of a bit more difficult any snipers anything that you're going to struggle with that you can't be bothered to do definitely use this method make use of it while it's around because it will probably get patched before too long so yeah definitely make sure you stay at least one hour in the game otherwise you won't get that much weapon xp some people have reported being kicked out as well i've not had any problems with that i, I was afk for over an hour no problem at all make sure your console's not going to switch off make sure your controller's working all that stuff but yeah no problems at all from my end but if you do notice a problem then you might have to occasionally sort of move the joystick just to kind of move and look around to show that you're not inactive but it shouldn't be a problem if you do it you should easily get all that weapon xp so it's a very easy method definitely make use of it while you can and obviously if you've got any double weapon xp tokens and you need to level up a weapon you can obviously switch to that the longer you stay in the game the more weapon xp you'll get so if you stay for like two hours you'll get even more weapon xp and beyond that even more so the longer you can stay the better so try and be a bit patient and then definitely don't just leave the game otherwise it won't count so i hope you found that useful if you did be sure to leave a like so that other people can find the video too and feel free to subscribe for lots of other modern for two guides including how to level up weapons fast i've got new methods coming all the time gold camo guides all that kind of stuff feel free to subscribe by clicking the bell icon to stay up to date with all my latest modern for two and also videos but thank you so much for watching hope you find it useful and i'll see you guys all on the next one